in. So Brian, why don't you fly over to the C? Because the C actually is another nice application of what Cell can do. Um, you've seen lots of water shaders probably before in other games. Um, one of the things which Lair has is a full fluid dynamic um, simulation. And uh, that makes it possible that um, it's not the old stuff we all know, which is basically a trick which is going on um, on the top of the water, but we're actually simulating the movement of uh, the waves and the reaction of the physical bodies on it. So um, what you can see here is uh, the boats actually bobbing on the waves correctly, and uh, once Brian starts uh, using the firepower of the dragon there um, and blows up those boats, they're loaded with explosives. You can actually see that the um, explosions trigger waves um, within the sea. Um, there's a later level in the game, one which you won't see today, um, which actually uses a lot of this fluid uh, dynamic simulation for very cool stuff happening in real time during, during gameplay. Um, and again, this is something which runs on the spews. Um, all of our physics code, um, all of our volumetrics code, all of that runs completely on the, on the SPUs, which only the uh, cell can offer. Um, as everybody has said, it's, uh, it's not easy to program, but it's also not hard to program. It's considerably easier to get into than the PS2 was, just for comparison's sake. Um, and once you do start getting into it, the, um, the things you can do with it are almost limitless. So um, let's talk a little bit about, about the gameplay here. In the first level, um, we stick to um, uh, basically um, flight, and we want to teach you the flight. Um, the flight is all about the six axis. Um, you've heard a lot about the motion control and the six axis here. Um, and of course, we take full advantage of it. Not only with what you would expect, which is basically controlling the dragon in air, and really the glide makes a range of motion possible. Um, you can try it in, in a couple of minutes over there yourself, which wouldn't be possible otherwise. But what we're also doing, if you watch uh, Brian there, is simplifying um, buttons, for example. For 180, which is important in a game like this, you don't need to do um, combinations of buttons. What you can do is you simply whip up with a gesture um, the controller. Um, we have other uh, gestures where basically when the dragons start to get physical, um, which Brian will do in a second here, he could in this early fight, because it's all very weak dragons, he could just take them out with fire. But uh, that's lame. Let's do something a little bit cooler and let's use the physical um, attack systems because that's really what Lair's all about. Crash into him and boom. So one of the things which you actually get with that is over there, that number, that's tons of carnage um, which, you, uh, which you toss. And uh, we'll talk about that in a second in a different uh, level a little bit more, um, the depth of the gameplay systems here. But, um, but what's really nice about the, uh, the six axis is that not only does it give you um, the, uh, the flight feeling in a way never possible before, but it also at the same time with the gestures gives you a physical impact on um, with other dragons in here that was the pursuit mode as we call it, um, where you actually slam the, uh, the six axis towards the uh, other dragon and bump into him um, to kill him. And we've really picked out all of these physical interactions between the dragons wherever possible um, to be done with the motion control because that's what motion control is all about.